With a nickel in his pocket in the mid-1940s, Bob Williams hitchhiked to Oklahoma A&M, looking for a chance, an opportunity to work in athletics. In an interview recorded in 2007 with the Oklahoma Oral History Research Program at the OSU Library, Williams shares his story. A month later, I hitchhiked to Stillwater. Didn't know where Stillwater was, I have no idea, by myself. I got here and went to the field house and asked him if Coach Iba was here. And Coach Iba wasn't there. He's out fishing. He's on vacation. Well, I had a nickel in my pocket. I come out the east door of Gallagher Hall, and there's a guy that I went to school with at Cameron chopping goat heads on the end of the practice field, J.C. Coolmore. I said, what are you doing up here? He said, I'm trying to get a scholarship. He's a football player. He and I attended Cameron College together. And uh, it's interesting, he hadn't played high school football. He played basketball at Warren, Oklahoma. To make a long story short, well, he got a scholarship and played guard on the football team. Don knows him, Don played with him. And, uh, but anyway, he put me up for the night. I didn't have any money. He bought me a hamburger and put me up for the night. And uh, we, the next day, Coach Ivo returned. So I was sitting on the steps on the east side of Gallagher Hall. And another guy was sitting on the other side. He had a suit on. I had a t-shirt on and jeans or Levi's, all owned. He went in first. I thought, well, there goes the job. He looks better than me. Anyway, he finally called me into the office and he said, what can you do? I said, I can do anything you got to do. He just name it. He said, no, I said, what are you doing in athletics? And I told him, taped ankles and all that stuff. So he said, okay, and he put both of us on. Bob Jameson was the other boy's name. He's from Woodward, Bob Fenimore's hometown. So then the season started. I was trainer in the training room at in the afternoon and at night for bat for football and at night for basketball. And I Jameson quit about October, November, and I got the job. I was it. So I spent the next three or four years as the trainer, athletic trainer for Oklahoma A and M. And uh, that's my story. I can't tell you what Oklahoma and him meant to me. Words cannot describe it. The, the camaraderie of everybody up here, from the faculty on, there's no price can it can be bought. And they still have my loyalty. Bob Williams was interviewed as part of the O State Stories Oral History Project. He earned his bachelor's degree in 1947 and a master's degree in 1951 from Oklahoma A&M College. To view more interviews from Oklahoma A&M and OSU alumni, visit us online at www.library.okstate.edu slash oral history.